What's up, guys? So in the pursuit of trying to get uh, raw voltage through this CNC port without having lugs going on the back of the unit and then coming out the front just doesn't, you know, look right to me. Um, I've, I've studied this, uh, this board and the instructions and pin seven and five is your raw voltage, but it goes through that hundred K, uh, you know, series set of resistors right here. So I've seen a fellow on the internet somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Um, he had made jumpers going from the input plug to the output plug bypassing those uh resistors and um it's pretty simple man so this sits up in here this is your input this black and this red is your raw voltage coming in from the sheet machine this black goes straight directly to the lug to the uh, uh torch lug and the red goes from here goes into this relay i think it goes in right here and it goes to the uh the work clamp right here and this relay connects that i guess whenever the machine fires it's maybe some kind of safety or something like that so just to verify that we got the flu cooked up so let's go ahead and check continuity so we have it hooked up on the uh torch head right now and we'll just touch this um back of this plug be easier if i got it off of there continuity now i'm going to move this uh lead onto the work clamp and show you what i was talking about so much fun trying to do this and hold a camera or phone and we'll go to this uh, i think it's this no it's this uh so that's going straight to the lug and of course there's no continuity right now because this relay isn't uh connecting it but that wire goes into here goes into there uh goes into the the board and then to figure out where exactly this goes and make sure that these pins are correct um, I simply, I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. Just try, I don't want to really put this on the pin, but that's a good way to bend stuff. So let's see if I could just put it on the plastic up against it. There we go. And, uh, I just went across this. And actually, I put a flashlight in here to try and see the actual connections. But so you'll have this pin here, and it goes. If you flip this over, you'll see that little jumper, one finger in front. These little jumpers right here, how it's like a U, and that goes over to the next one. So that's why you have it continuity there, and continuity there. But once you get on this side of the, um, which call on the side of the resistor, you have no continuity. So I want to make it to where this pin is directly connected to, uh, that would be number seven, if I'm not mistaken. So one, two, three, four. And in order to do that, we're going to just go ahead and solder a jumper wire from those input uh two of those inputs to these outputs and that's it and i'll we'll see how it works
little test coupon they sent me. Got a machine set up at 40 amps. It's a 1 8 plate. We're just going to do a dry run right now. See the little piece on there and the tool path that it's going to go on. I'm going to go to zero, work zero. And it's going to go right there. And we'll just press start as a dry run. That's it. I don't even think that went all the way through on the outer part, but that's a very first cut. That's it. Pretty cool, man.